This is the hardest defense to play against the Madden 24. Woo! It shuts down the run. Gets instant sacks. And interceptions all game. So if you want to see what overpowered defense I'm using in results like this, see ya. stick around after the intro. For the fastest, cheapest, and most reliable coins in the market with a no-band guaranteed delivery, check out my coin sponsor, MOXP.com, and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. The plays from today's video can once again be found in my Chicago Bears offensive and Las Vegas Raiders defensive ebooks. If you guys want more help or more money plays, you can download these or any of my ebooks instantly simply by clicking the links in the description or the top pinned comment. I'm once again using my Philadelphia Eagles, and I will be facing one of the fastest teams in Madden history, the Miami Dolphins. A team that is so fast that I refuse to use them because it would make offense too easy, and it wouldn't prove that my plays are actually working, as you can literally just streak Tyreek Hill and score most of the time with his 99 overall speed. And despite all this, speed i am still going to try to show you guys a new defense in the 4-3 even 6-1 now i know this defense is one of the pro favorite meta defenses which is why i never use it but i wanted to show you guys some different looks other than my 3-3 odd which is what i think is the off meta meta right now and the greatest player in madden history and henry agrees with me after just using his own version to win the madden challenge championship game link in the description if you guys want to see more about that defense as i will be using it later in the video but for now i'm going to show you guys how to run the 4-3 even the only adjustment i need to make to my personal personnel is to put a cornerback at my safety spot here for better coverage. Other than that, you just need to make sure you have speed at all your linebacker spots is for faster blitzes. For my coaching adjustments, the most important thing is to set your zone coverage to match for cover four, and I will also set my auto alignment to base to hide my coverages. There's really only three plays that I use in the scheme, and that is the Sam Will Blitz, the cover for quarters, and the Sam Blitz three. And there's two different versions for every coverage, a blitzing version and a coverage version that I will mix in to keep my opponent off balance. But I will always set up my defense to look the same way pre-snap so that my opponent will not know which one I'm in until after the play starts. I do the coverage setup on the first play and even though I don't get to show you the play art, you can see how it shuts everything down and I get a coverage sack on the very first play as nothing gets open. But I also accidentally ran over a receiver and got a penalty. The setup that I did on the first play was the coverage setup, where I put the outside linebackers into hard flats on both sides of the field, as this is really aimed at stopping things that beat man coverage like zigs and drags that get open at about a 5 yard depth, while I also just pinch the defensive line and slant them outside for run defense. But I bite on the play action on the next play and get totally out of position, as it is my job to cut off these crossing routes over the middle just like this. I switch coverages on the next play to cover 4, as this is a little less vulnerable to deep passes, and it will allow me to blitz from a different coverage. All I have to do to set up this blitz from any of these defenses really is just to pinch the defensive line by pressing the D-pad to the left and down, then slant them outside by pressing the D-pad to the left and up on the right stick. You can also spread the linebackers as far as possible by pressing the D-pad to the right and up on the left stick, then blitz all linebackers by pressing the D-pad to the right and down the right stick, and this will create a lot of instant pressure, especially against someone who is under center like this, as these outside linebackers will come off the edge very quickly. The last step is all about what you do with your user. This can change based off of what offensive formation your opponent is in, but the one constant is that you'll always want to try to draw a blocker before dropping back into coverage so that the edge rushers can get in unblocked. And I will show you guys different ways to do this throughout the video, but the most common way to do this is just to hover the center pre-snap, as this will force the five linemen to condense and will let one or even both of the edge rushers in free. My job after the snap is just to try to cut off any throws over the middle. Bitch. And the pressure forces a quick throw. On offense, I start the game by using the gun tight way off, which is another offense that I recently made a full breakdown video about. So if you guys want to see more about this offense or other defense that I'm going to be using later, I will once again have links in the description as well as on screen at the end of the video. So stick around for that. On the very first play, though, I read cover three. And since I'm already on a hash mark to the open side of the field, which is something that I need for this play to work, I immediately switch to the tight end corner and flip the play so that the corner route is on the open side of the field. After that, all I have to do is motion out the running back to the short side and put everyone on streaks to hold the single high safety to that side. The corner route is the only route that I don't put on a streak, and that is because this type of corner route will pull the cornerback outside, creating a throwing window up the seam. Break yourself, fool! 
as long as that bullet and pass lead away from the free safety. Back on defense, he is still under center and in the strong close, so I set up the cover for match version where all I really have to do is manually bring the safeties down so that they get closer to the passing lanes faster. I also like the hard flat to hide the biggest weakness of this defense, which is underneath the dropping cornerbacks outside. But this is not something you want to do if you expect deep passing, as it can override some of the more important matching principles and cost you with bigger plays. So sometimes I'll hard flat, sometimes I'll leave them in the curl flats, depending on what type of pass I'm expecting. I still pitch the defensive line so that it always looks the same, and you can tell that this is all confusing him, as nothing gets open, and we get a throw out a sack animation at the goal line. On the next play, the pass coverage is there, but it's a rushing linebacker, and he can't do anything about it. And my opponent is already diagnosing the coverage by working crossing routes on the next two plays. And this just isn't a pass defense setup as the pinch defensive line will close up in the inside run lanes while the spread outside linebackers will usually control any opportunities to the outside. I continue with a coverage setup as he tries to burn the entire defense with a streak to his 97 speed Jalen Waddle. How about new? So in the next play I decide to send the blitz so he doesn't have that much time. Woo! The only problem with his defense though is it doesn't cover trips formations like this and he must know that so I call a timeout to switch over to my 3-3 odd defense as he gets the first down to crossing route anyway before trying to do it again and nothing gets open this time while I get another throw out of sack animation. Another formation that can give this defense issues is empty backfield looks like this but there is a blitz setup that can destroy this if it gets in. For this setup I will pinch the defensive line the same way only this time everyone is man assigned to someone so I will have to use or one of the outside linebackers instead. All I have to do is move the outside linebacker towards the tackle and it will shift the blocking assignments to allow the outside linebacker on the other side to get in free most of the time as I drop back into coverage over the middle the exact same way. <laughs> And nothing is open again as we get an instant sack. He calls a hurry up though, and I try to do the exact same setup on the other side, but I get a weird cut block animation what the fuck is that? that slows the free rusher to the point where he can simply just lob it up to Tyreek Hill on a streak. Damn it! As he just runs away from everybody with his 99 speed, especially with a safety and coverage. So if someone is doing that, just make sure to put some fast cornerbacks at safety as well. On offense, I start by dinking and dunking my way down the field, as that's one of the best parts about this scheme. And since my opponent is running a lot of cover 3 and cover 4, I'm just taking the flats for easy catch and run yards before pushing it down the field a little bit more with a corner route. And that forces him to switch coverages to something with flat routes underneath to cover the short routes. As I read what looks like a cover 6, with one cornerback 8 yards off the line of screen, in the other five yards. So I switched to the tight end corner once again as it can be a one play touchdown against this coverage as well simply by putting the B receiver on a streak to pull back the safety as the tight end gets wide open underneath it for another one play score. Back on defense, now that my opponent is spreading out his offense more, I decided to switch to my 3-3 odd defense for a while, and he gets close to the first down before trying to run, and it gets blown up for a loss, before barely getting the first down in the flats on the very next play. And I decided to switch back to the 4-3 even to send the blitz, as you can see how consistent this pressure is coming in from both sides. A week ago! But then he goes right back to the trips formation, which his defense has issues covering, to get an easy first down the next play, before calling a hurry up to keep me in it. I switched to the cover one man just to try to make it to the two minute warning, and now his offensive formations have forced me out of this defense once again. Which is one of the reasons I ultimately like the 3-3 odd a little bit better anyway, since I feel like I can run that defense in any situation. As he tries to screen against nowhere, before my defense completely glitches out, as I hard flat my outside linebacker only to see him go to the other side of the field. What? the hell is going on? Or he might have been able to help double team this wheel route as he scores on the next play. I'm so sick of this buggy ass game sometimes. He misses the extra point though, so at least I keep the lead. I get the ball back in the second half and he is still playing really good defense as I have to make a play just to keep the ball. Before I recover through once again and decide to go right back to the exact same play that I used earlier in the tight end corner. Oh! Yeah! Brown was wide open for the score, despite a horribly slow catch animation that almost cost me the touchdown. I decided to go for two to make it a two possession game and I wasn't going to use the double drags but I see a run lane to punch it in. Then back on defense I decided to go back to my cover four and he beats me on the first play but now on the second play as we get what turns out to be the game ceiling interception as we get the rage quit. See ya! So that's this video. If you guys want to see more about the offenses or the other defense that I was using in today's video I will have links in them popping up on screen. And other than that thanks for watching man. Wish it out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.